Located in the remote medieval hamlet of Hartley Mordet was a large manor house that provided work for the locals. The manor house was located behind the church and was owned by the Stuarts. The lord of the house, Nicholas Stuart, was said to defend the house from the roundheads, but was unfortunately destroyed. Charles II restored the manor and Nicholas received his land and manor back. The Stuarts owned the land for many generations and then handed it down to the Stowell family. Lord Stowell preferred city life, unlike his wife who preferred life at Hartley Mordet. In anger, Lord Stowell pulled down the manor house to prevent her from living there. With no work and money, the residents left and all that remains is St Leonard's Church and a large pond. Apparently, remnants of the manor and church's cellars remain and are wooded over, as well as the tales of the hidden passageway. Locals tell stories of the hauntings where they have seen the lady of the house horse and carriages many times passing close to the church as well as hearing the sounds of music from the empty church and these are cries from the past. We love ourselves. We do. Self love y'all. Do you really say it? Yeah, you say it. You say it. Okay, so um, today is Monday the 28th of October. I'm off work all week. Yes. <laughs> and he's picked me up from where I live. And we were originally going to do this like haunted house in um, Southampton, but we, well, I kind of thought I wanted to do something like really scary. So I know this, um, what's supposed to be like a haunted church in Hartley Mordet. And I thought, well, maybe we can try it out. And then there's also like, um, supposedly like a haunted graveyard in Alton as well. So we thought we'd go and have a look, see if there's anything like scary. But I know people I know who'd never lie about things and said they've seen stuff, so. Yeah, hopefully we'll see something for ourselves today. Fingers so, crossed. Yeah, we're gonna just stop and get some fuel, something to eat, because I'm really hungry. Um, and then probably grab some fish and chips later, hopefully. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, check in with you at the church. See you in a bit. <laughs> bye bye. You alright? We have now arrived at, what's it called? Hartley Mordet Church. I think it's St Leonard's. So there's a lake here. Yeah, I don't, don't know if you can. Don't know if you can like see that. But apparently, loads of people have like drowned in this lake. And I've been coming here since I was a kid, and there were always like signs in the lake saying "danger, stay away" and stuff like that. And the whole lake was pretty much covered in these signs. So, and it always kind of creeped me out, and I never knew why, but now I do. Whether or not it's true, but um. I mean, there's only one sign now, and it's just private fishing, so. There's also another sign saying no dog fouling. Just underneath the private fishing. I need the loo, though. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to walk close to the lake because it is private and it is really dangerous, so. Mm. I know we might do. We'll see. We'll take you with us. <coughs> see nothing. <laughs> Let's do this. So that's the lake, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's alright, I've got my pocket. Yeah, that's the lake. That's the lake. Oh god, it does look really deep actually and it's quite sudden. Imagine if a car crashed there, Jesus. Stuff, wouldn't you? Comes up quite. That's the church. Over there. Oh, it does look quite spooky as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm so glad I finally got you here. Like, you have. I've always found you it dragged so me cool. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So is this still an act like an active church? I believe so. I mean, I've got like a relative buried here, so... Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but I don't... I've never actually seen people go in and out of it, so... But Mum said we we're able to go into it, so I thought... Ah. That's got to be the gate. It looks like a gate. It looks like a gate and opens like a gate. It probably is a gate. They have resurfaced this there. This looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just a couple of birds. Now we're going to see if we can go inside. <laughs> that, it did look locked though, didn't it? It does look creepy. It's got an old light on the top of that. Oh, Christ. What if like an alarm goes off? Oh yeah, true. Thing is, it's is that like a visit in hours then? Yeah, but well, there's a notice board here. Let's look at the notice board. See what the notice board says. Yeah, there we go. The church is unlocked from nine pm to four winter. Yeah, that's fine. To release the door, please press the bell. And it's in one key man. You have to push the door open. That means someone's gonna come that way. Possibly. What bell? Press the bell on the key cap key. Keypad system. Oh, that. Yeah, right. You press that, I'm gonna stop the camera, okay? We've come in. Oh, look at that. Ready for Halloween, obviously. I'm gonna leave the door open. <laughs> Can you hear that beeping? <laughs> I like all the things here. It does look haunted though. From the memory of, of his uncle. Why are you reading? That one there, from the memory of his uncle Thomas. It's really creepy in there, actually. Oh. What's that clicking noise? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, now I can hear it. The beeping stopped as well. Yeah. Can I pull the hooks up? Yeah. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, you done it. Yeah, imagine seeing a face in it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really creepy. <laughs> no, when you're there, it's. I think. Yeah, I think when we were in there, it was like a thing of like. Uh, we know we've heard the stories and um, I think we're expecting the story so we're like in our subconscious mind it's like happening yeah if that makes sense creepy gate shall we go look around the lake then <laughs> yeah I wonder if we can like walk around there yeah I think you can because it does say I'm guessing it's a 
walking spot. That same car's coming back. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It is a really creepy lake though, isn't it? Can you see that pipe there? Oh yeah. It looks like a big snake. It is. It's like a Lockhart Harry Potter. It looks like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a snake. It is a tiny little church. I wouldn't mind being buried there. Really? Yeah, because I definitely want to get buried when I die. Yeah. I've decided that I want to be composted. Really? Yeah. Are you joking? Are being serious? No, I'm being serious. I just don't like cremations. Do you not? No, they freak me out. Yeah. See, I, th I worry about getting buried. You're right. Sorry, that really. <laughs> Did you hear it? it was yeah. Like, because it's flying. I think so. And yeah, it was a present. But did you hear the noise? No. <laughs> Get off my land. Oh wow. Oh, that looks creepy. Doesn't that look creepy? That does. <laughs> <laughs> it's weirdly relaxing. It is. Like... That. Yeah. Um, so they had like a little witches. Um, you know witches? It's like a little like thingy that they were having. Like a little... Sounds? Yeah. And there was thunder and lightning brewing above them. Lightning struck the tree. Yeah, it's not that hocus pocus. I love hocus pocus. My God, like, <laughs> I wonder if he's dressed up as the blonde one. Oh, um. And my sister was like, no, Stan, you look like the one that barks at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, Bette Midler's character? No, the other one, the, the brown haired one. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so the one that, that like she doesn't have a broom, she has a vacuum, oh, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder dear. if we're even allowed to be here. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing to say keep off, is there? No. <laughs> and there are little patches for people to fish. Not saying that I want to go into that one, because that one looks like you're just going to step into it and oh, sink straight into the, into the lake where people have drowned. If, if that's true. Yeah. I mean, where did you um, hear about it? Was it... Legend. Look, on. ducks. Oh, could anything bad have happened in a pond that holds ducks? Who knows? Who knows? Let's keep going around. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Uh, bit sludgy, isn't it? Oh. I'm not going any further. Yeah, <laughs> I want to do again. <laughs> right, that's the end there anyway. Let's go back. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be so creepy if we found like a hand pop out of the water? Like a dead hand. That would feel more like goosebumps. It would, wouldn't it? I don't know what to do. <laughs> You'd push me in with all the other dead bodies. Okay, so we're so we're back in the car now. Um, I look well fat from that angle. <laughs> Sorry. You look fine. I look fat. No, you don't. It's, it's a, honestly this jumper is two sizes too big, that's why. <laughs> See? Um it is. It is a very big jumper. Yeah. Um yeah, we're back in the car now. Um, but we thought we'd read up on a little, uh, on a couple of stories about... Hartley Mordit. Hartley Mordit. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Shannon's got up a little site of the myths, legends. This one's happenings. called The Mystery Surrounding Hartley Mordit Church. The Mystery Surrounding Hartley Mordit Church. This sounds weird. Mm. That is the church, isn't it? Yeah, that's the church. That's from the side, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. The Cinderella Church of Hartley Mordet, close to Shelbourne, stands completely alone by the side of the road opposite a large pond. Said pond. The church itself was built... More like a lake, isn't it? I, th I thought it was a lake. It looks more like a lake. It does. Ponds are like tiny. Tiny. And ponds stink and there's no stink out there. No. 
No stank. Stank. <laughs> Stanky. Tony Stank. The church itself was built between 1150 and 1200 and has the original plain Norman. Ch oh my gosh. Chan. Chancel. Chancel arch and two plain windows in its nave. It is a simple church, but it eludes an interesting history. We thought it was quite a beautiful church, didn't we? Yeah, it's, it's quite um... quaint. Roundheads who were fighting around the nearby town of Alton, which is where we're going to go in a minute, mm. against a troop of... Right, this is legit how it's written. Roundheads who were fighting around a nearby town of Alton against a troop of roundheads came and... I, came and destroyed it. Whether this is true or not, after the restoring, res restoration of Charles II as monarch, Nicholas Stuart received his land back and became the first baronet of Hartley Mordet. This suggests the story is true and for his loyalty, the king restored him his land. He returned and rebuilt the house. But there's no house there, is there? No. So did it get demolished maybe, again? Maybe the house got demolished. It did, but it's just that he rebuilt it. So did it get re demolished again? Probably. Not very lucky, is he? No. <laughs> um, Poor guy. So this one... <laughs> round head. <laughs> this was called the Stowell family and Hartley Morden. Oh, okay. So This, this sounds like it could be creepy. Uh, oh, this, this answers that question, actually. Oh. The Stewarts continued to hold the property for several generations until it passed into the hands of the Stowell family. Another local story tells us that Lord Stowell, who loved the town and the city, but his country loving wife much preferred to live in the country at Hartley Mordet. In a peevish fit, it is said that he pulled down the house to prevent her living there. Whether the truth, whatever the truth, its staircase found its way to Alton Council offices. Floor tiles turned up in the floor and at Calmore Rectory, and it is thought that the round tower attached to the nearby cottage also once was part of the old building apparently remnants of its cellar remain wooded over oh i kind of want to go and look now and stories of a passageway linking the house to shelbourne priory oh. many local tales abound the hauntings the lady of the house coach and horses have been seen many times horses horses oh, oh my god oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god passing close to the church as well as sounds of music from the open empty church adding to the otherworldliness of this place so is that saying then that somewhere wooded over down there is a like a secret passageway yeah oh, oh i kind of want to go back. go back as well and look for it we're watching a video now let's put it here i'll put the video here Apparently this is known as the ghost town of Hampshire. Mm. Is there any sound? I'm sure there is. Maybe not. I don't want to have sure. Echoed ghostly music. I want to see this phantom coach. Mm. She sounded like a horse and cart then. It actually did. I was coming from the actual phone. They've added sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shit, I'm sorry. My mortar is an abandoned village in Hampshire, England. Cottages dating back from the 12th century, St. Leonard's Church stands as the remaining building. You were right about being St. Leonard. Are you reading that? Yeah. Oh. It's not very big inside, is it? No, it's tiny. Colin? Well done, Colin. Brilliant photo there, Colin. It's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, that's the house. The remaining house is blue the 17th thatched. So where's that then? Was that back there? 
Is that what we passed? I don't... The thing is, does anyone live in them? Because if they do, I feel bad for like just going around and looking at it. Yeah. So basically, there's a leg. I think probably the most popular legend is that um, mm. you will see you you <laughs> you will see and hear a horse and cart, a phantom one, and <laughs> we thought we heard it, and we were royally like. Ourselves. <laughs> and we realised it was a sound effect on the video we watched. I kind of feel like I want to go and find that wooded area a bit, but I think it's going to be behind the church where it's all like fenced off. Mm. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Liam! Get myself a bit of whiplash. <laughs> hmm, shall we look for the secret passage? Yeah? I don't know, like. Because if it's a CCTV, are they gonna like think we're like criminals walking around there like this? Nah. Let's do it. Oh. Now back on our way to the car, we couldn't find no passageway, and then we found like a little alleyway. Started walking down there, and then the car sort of, like with a trailer stopped, and we were like, yeah. And then we saw a sign saying. Um, so unsafe sorry, area, yeah. keep out. So we left, and then a the Range Rover that we keep on seeing stopped. That same car's coming back. Is it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and then, then we left, and then that, and then the truck drove off after we came out of that alleyway thing. Like it stopped. Maybe they're in like maybe this village is in like a big cult, and they know the history, and think we can't share any more of our history. Conspiracy! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we're gonna get some fish and chips now. <coughs> uh huh. So I need to leave really bad. And then we're so gonna go move on to a cemetery area which has a lot of uh, rumours, stories, hauntings. So, yes. Hopefully, I mean, I wouldn't say hopefully, but I've got that really scared me. <laughs> <laughs> my contact shifted. My contact oh, lens really? in the road looked like someone stood behind me. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. It is weird. It does feel creepy. It, it doesn't. It, feel, it feels more creepy the second time. Yeah, like I don't, I don't want to sound cliche, but it does. It doesn't feel like you're alone. No. Here. Like, you know, you get that weird feeling at the back of your neck where it feels like you're being watched. Like, I have that. <laughs> mm. But we haven't seen anything. That... Yeah, we're yeah. just we're gonna go now. Cause we're literally yeah. still in the middle of a road. So, so we're gonna In go fact, to this, this is chippy. the road. Look, 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 like, it is a. Oh, you're gonna have to Land Rover! Land Rover! Oh my god, the Land Rover! Land Rover's back! <laughs> He's been up and down, been up and down this road so many times. Actually, it's scary. <laughs> oh my god, that is. Stuck. I'm shaking. Like, why is he like, up and down so many times? I know. This village knows what's happened in this town. They've dumped a lot of bodies in that in that lake for new visitors. I'm sure I've seen that car as well. I kind of want to wait and see if the Land Rover comes back. It will. But I swear that the villagers, they all are in a massive cult together. The Roundheads, I'm going to call them. I'm gonna call they them weren't the Roundheads. the Roundheads. The Roundheads fought them for this. <sighs> yeah, well... They obviously lost, and the Roundhead, the Roundheads lost, and this village is now a cult, and they're killing off new visitors and dumping them in that lake. Right, do you want to hear my theory? Yeah. I think that guy is either lost and circling this area, or he just doesn't like people being around here. Mm. Like a UK Mick Taylor. Possibly. Wolf Creek. Oh, it's a bit close. <laughs> um, okay, so we've just had our fish and chips. It was really good. It was so good. And um, browsed the uh, charity shops. I got a dress. <laughs> uh, fits perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're at our next uh, location. Um, it is a graveyard. I'm not going to tell you the name of it because out of respect, we're not even going to film. We're not going to film anything in the graveyard, we're going to come back and tell you what we've experienced because I'm going to be respectful to them. Yeah, still want to say a story about what happened. 
um, without going too into detail, but like mm. there was a story of a younger person who was tragically murdered, and this is supposedly where she's buried. So, um, and it's been rumored that people have seen her and stuff like that. So, like Liam, so that respect, we won't film around it. Um, I mean, I know some of the people who are buried here as well, so. Um, yeah, I don't feel right filming around here, so we will just come back and say whether or not we've seen anything. Um, I, I doubt we will, no, but it's, no. and if anything, I'm just mainly here to see family. So <laughs> it was like the last place as well. You had family buried there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You're not going anywhere, so that's the way to clamp me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we, we don't even know if we're allowed to park where we are. So. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't come back to a clamp. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll see you in jail, Mama. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. So we're just leaving the cemetery now. We um we didn't really see anything to be honest. We didn't we didn't even manage to find uh, Shannon's family. No, we couldn't find. Them. I even knew where they were. <laughs> Oh, I still couldn't find them. Yeah. It's quite big, wasn't it? It was a very big cemetery. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. But, um, but we were saying, like, we didn't we didn't experience anything creepy or anything. But what we did down see is a lot of, um, like, two, what, what are they called? Um, stones. Stones. And, um, and they're very... Like some of them, they, they just haven't been looked after and we were thinking, imagine like when you're older and you're dead, like eventually you're going to have no family to look after your like headstone. So it's all just going to go back to nature, it's really weird. Like it's, it's a dark thought. Morbid. Yeah. Very morbid, yeah. yeah. Don't uh, really know what to think. No. Yeah. So we're pretty much wrapping up the day, aren't we? Yeah. Just gonna head off to one more cemetery so I can see some more family. Um, there's not really anything like spooky at this one, it's just more of a sentimental thing to me. So um, yeah. just while we're here, I thought we'd pop over and then gonna head home, aren't we? Yeah, call it a day. Yeah, it has it's been. been a, it's been a nice day to be fair. And it's been interesting. I've never been here before, so. Yeah, like we even like went for dinner and that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. The chip shop was really nice. It was really good. Yeah, it's been it's quite been quite educational, I suppose, as well. Yeah, and almost like therapeutic. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this up, I think. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> I've been Shannon. <laughs> He's been Liam. <laughs> I don't know, how do you end your videos? I just say thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and Liam. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.